this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII! Just one thing I wanted to add to what I said yesterday in the uh, bonus episode there. Uh, organic components, they have this little fang symbol. Inorganic components have that little hammer symbol or whatever, that, or screw symbol, whatever it is. So, someone mentioned that to me in the last episode, so thanks for letting me know. And there's actually a wiki page with experience tables for all the equipment. I'll put a link to it in the video description there, so that'll help you guys out. I'll still mention it myself, though. Individual pieces of equipment. Of for us, huh? Stuff like that. Hard to picture a happy ending. Well, then I you guess we might as well just give up. I do. Huh? Well, where are we going? Hmm? There. Out of here? Eden? Huh? The well... The seat of power. Oh, that's a great idea. Just charge right in there. Give them a taste of La Sea terror. Might as well stop them where they come from. You're serious? Keep no, no, I was just jacking with you. Die or turn thief. There's no oh. place for La Sea to hide. No. They want to fight. Let's take it to the Sanctum's door. This isn't a game. You play no. to win the that's game. Damn sure. Started with Sarah. Falsi took her. Now I'm Alyssi too. And the Sanctum's hunting me, an enemy of the state. But who's pulling their strings? A Falsi. Ah. Oh, yeah. Eden. Well, we took out Eden's one. Sustainer and guiding light. How hard could it possibly be? Ordered the purge too. Pulse oh. and Sanctum Falsi. They're all the same. And we're all the same to them. Expendable. I'm well, when you're God, slave. yeah, pretty much. So, what are you going to do? Destroy it. No, no, I was so, just going to turn the light switch off. Are you crazy? Say you pull it off. Hmm? What's that get you? Satisfaction? Something yep. happens to Eden, it's lights out cocoon. You want that? Well, post the sea now. So you just want to snuff out Cocoon. No, that's what they told us what to do. Sarah? She said to save Cocoon. It might even be our focus to make sure Cocoon's. Our focus doesn't matter. Why not do both at the same time? They don't take orders from Foul C. How I live is up to me. Don't you mean how you die? Think like that, and it's already over. Better to pick your path and keep moving. Well, okay. Don't worry. So let's I'm after create some objectives. I'm not out to destroy the world. If it did come to that, <laughs> wonder if our hero would try to stop me. He already has. You want to fight Snow now? Just like that and your enemies? Well, we already were to begin Next with. Next time we meet, we might be too. <laughs> so, how are you going to get up there? Sank in. It tore us all apart. A, a gigantic elevator? Lightning was suffering. Reaching out to us. By running away but from none us. None of us could see it. Or that. Snow deserves it. If only I'd been stronger. None of this ever would have happened. What happened to your accent again? I don't know what I should do. That makes two of us. Well, you could just sit there for a while. Hey, you're taking care of me. Well, it won't be if you keep pushing me like that. Ah, <laughs> uh, Saz. Wait for me. Yeah, I need someone to babysit me. My parents are... Uh, well, my mom's gone. I'm going with you. I can't babysit you anymore. Oh, well... I uh, can fight. I'm not afraid. We both don't like snow. <laughs> or we could take care of these guys first. Why not? Eh, Great. Let's go. A Psycom hit squad. <sighs> Nuts. So much for running away. Of course, we could just hit the retry button, but nah. Nah, just kidding. They got guys in red uniforms. Red shirts? Pretty much. Let's take them out. Uh, first things first, we want to Libra them. There we go. And, yeah, I haven't had a chance to rearrange my setup, but, well, I'm not exactly worried about it. Oh, yeah. I got different paradigms and everything, so. Oh, well. I'm not worried about it. I'll just go all out and 
rearrange my setup later. Oh, I probably should have gone after the tre- er... No, no, this guy first, okay. But yeah, they can use Bar Thunder, which, uh, no, it's like, well, that's pretty much, didn't they call it Bar Thunder in Final Fantasy X? Well, whatever, it blocks lightning damage, or greatly reduces its damage. So it's pretty good, still, in this game, especially Bar Thunder, because so many enemies use it. Well, all right, Hope. Really? Never had a valley. Thanks. You can try it for tonight. I'll most likely kill you in the morning. By the way, one thing I forgot to mention. After that battle, uh, when you get a five-star rating, or, well, higher ratings, your tech points regenerate a little bit more. So, because that's how you get your tech points back. After a battle, you'll get a little bit of it back. So, TP, uh -oh. not CP. Army's out to play. What now? Well, nothing. Well, now? I mean, I mean, we could stay here, but shouldn't we... Catch up with them? Run? Huh? Okay, now run. this is stupid. If we rush in now, we'll just get in our way. So, the objective of the game no, is right. run. I guess. I mean, it's not like lightning needs any help. Really, game? Really? That's the objective? Run? What about, like, I don't know, like, uh, stopping the bad guy? No or, we should uh, keep moving. Blowing up reactors. Lightning? Are you worried about the others? I'm sure they got away, yep. okay? So Some sort of if you leave objective. Now. With me, it'll be fight after fight. Well, it I already is anyway. It'll end. It's anybody's guess. I know that. But I need to be stronger. Well, there we go. Lightning. You could use a squire. Call me light. Now this is where I start to like Hope a bit more, where I, I kind of like to think of him as a squire for lightning. I live in Palampolum. I can show you all the shortcuts. No side All right. Of course not. I don't think Lassie are welcome at home. Yeah, that wouldn't be a good idea. Well, okay, let's move along then. I'm going to just take a moment to rearrange my setup here, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Uh, my setup is as I have listed in the video description there. Uh, actually, there is one thing that I want to do. Lightning, I think she can learn... Yes! Launch! When you got an enemy staggered, you can just launch them into the air. And you can basically air juggle them like in uh, Mario... One of those Mario games. Was it Mario Party or Melee or Smash Brothers or Brawl or whatever? I don't know what it is, but... Well, there we go! So, but I figure if it's just one ability, I might as well show you. Man, they got save points everywhere. It's nice having all these save points in the game. Oh, do I have my default paradigm? Good, good. I think one of these guys are new, actually. So, uh, yeah, they look the same, but one of them's not. Uh, there it is. Core regular. But, uh, I actually want to... Well, we've already started on him, so I might as well just keep going. No, I don't want to bliss. Don't teach us how to blitz either. There we go. Nope, get him. Alright, there we go. But yeah, nothing too special about the other guy there. Hey, you guys have it easy nowadays with all these save points, you know? When I was your age, we didn't have all these fancy save points with your shops and your upgrade stations. If you wanted to buy something, you had to get up off your ass and walk to the damn shop. And if you wanted to upgrade a weapon, you had to go all over the world to look for the enemy that had the item with the 1% drop rate to find exactly what you needed to upgrade your equipment back then. If you wanted to get an item from a dungeon, you had to walk there, uphill, both ways. And go in, get the item, and we were lucky if we could teleport out, but usually you couldn't. You had to walk all the way out. Walk all the way back to the inn or the king in order to save. Oh, hey, we got a, another new enemy here. Let's, uh, let's see. Do I have enough CP? I hope I do. Yes, I have enough. All right, we can get water. I also got thunder and fire uh, for hope uh, since last time. So let's take advantage of it against this guy. He uh, He's weak to lightning and water. 
So, first we'll use Libra on him, so Hope will know what to do. There we go. Just do that. There we go. And since Lightning has Aqua and Thunder Strike, I can take advantage of that with uh, her Ravager plan. So, hopefully I can do that real quick here. Ha! There we go. But anyway, back to the save points, you know? I mean, if you, let's say you had like a final boss or something, because someone was mentioning this on the video description. You know, I mean, if you wanted to beat the game, you had to go hardcore. You had to go through like an hour-long dungeon just to d die to the final boss. And we liked it! Uh, how am I doing here? Uh, yeah, we're doing good on the Crystarium. Uh, nah, I don't think I need to save. Nah, nah, we're good, we're good. How's it going? Any trace of the Lassie? Nothing. They're standing right Lassie behind me, aren't activated. they? No. Huh? No, just Who's there? What was Psycom doing here? Looking for Probably us? Probably thought we'd try and use a pulse machine to escape. Oh. Maybe we should try it. What does this do? Oh, thanks for the idea, guys. Hey, you're gonna hurt yourself. Don't touch that. Yeah, it was a Wait, pretty hard boss what fight. What if it works? Not really hard. But Leave it. Hard enough. Whoa. What's going on? I told you to leave it. You'll Stop. shoot your eye out. How do you know how to work the damn thing? I think I got it. Or it can Wait, work. I think I can work this. I kind of like the music they got here. It's nice. Well, no way to get past this wall. Just want to talk to the wall. Hey, hey, all right. Now this part actually is pretty fun. I, re I really actually like this part. It's a little mini game that you do with this Magitek armor thing or whatever. And you kill people with it. It's awesome. I like it. It's kind of like one of those mount quests in Warcraft or something, you know, or a vehicle quest. I like those kind of quests. But anyway, when you go through one of those electric grid barrier things, then you charge up and you get three shots. So you can swing your arm like that and just blow them all away. So, yeah, you got three shots. Did I get them? Well, if you don't kill them that way, you can just run them over. Did I? No, I don't think I got them all, but well, whatever. I don't want to get them all, actually. Uh, there's a very good reason that I'll mention when we get to that. But anyway, so what we want to do, just Swing at all those guys. There we go. Oh, one more. There we go. And then go through that electric grid barrier thing, whatever, and get three more shots. Now, with this part, if you want to get a really high score, what you got to do is wait for these guys to come towards you, and they'll all herd around you. And then you can just use your swing arm and get them all at once. But I don't want to get the absolute highest score. There's a very good reason for that. So let's see what I can do with these guys. Maybe get one of them. There we go. That should be enough of them. But yeah, I wish they did that more in World of Warcraft with the vehicle and mount quests. I mean, my brother was saying that a lot of people don't like them. Because they were like, well, why do I level up to 85? So that I can, you know, get a mount to... Do something that has nothing to do with my character progression, you know? But I love them, you know? It mixes it up. You know, it's different. Nice landing. I especially like the one in uh, Redridge there, where you got the guy with the sort of like a machine gun or whatever, and you're just mowing down like 200 orcs. It's awesome. I love that. You're too soft. Wait up. Eh, just lightning and hope bickering together. Okay, well, anyway, here, hopefully I did it right. Yes! Okay, there's three different prizes that you can get in each of these two chests. One of them would have a spark ring if you got the absolute best score, but I really want the thick and hide so that way I can do more equipment upgrading when that becomes pertinent there. And you can also get more gill, but uh, I like the middle prize that you can get best there. So, I mean, that's my personal preference. I did that on purpose. Not to mention getting the absolute best prize is actually pretty hard there. But can we make it to Eden? Or will we be sent to Valhalla instead? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!